Hello viewers, it's me again. And uh, what's the topic today? We are going to uh, make a little circuit that will run this motor, uh, and it will. Uh, we can also maintain our uh, motor rotation direction like it is. Uh, it can be uh, run on clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, uh, we have to done this with uh, with two components. So first one is a our uh, motor driver IC so where's the model is uh, you can see here uh, it's AL 29 3D and we have another regulator here a 5 volt regulator and its model is LM7805 okay uh, so these uh, two are extra components here and uh, you know already know about these are this Arduino and breadboard and these are these motors that we have to run okay so let's go to our connection and uh, let's see and i am going to uh, describe a little about this pin so there uh, you can see there's this uh, input 2 here and input 4 here so so these pins are uh, work as like the same as them okay uh, okay so, uh, uh, let's go to our uh, um, at first make our circuit here so what should i connect first uh, so let's uh, start from here okay so enable one pin okay so we have just connect in with enable like uh, here it's two because this is enable pin that will uh, or the turn on our system or this motor you know and this is input one so input one that's also connected to Arduino it will uh, we have maintain our uh, uh, this motor's uh, rotating directions here from this pin and we need another pin uh, this output one okay we will uh, add it later output 2 and input 2 so these pins we need to also include it in Arduino because we need to this pin to uh, uh, rotate this motor to another uh, direction like a uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise okay I, I will show you when it's uh, happening uh, and then it's output 1 and output 2 here so there these two pins will go through this motor so what do I will do? I will uh, see output one. So it will connect to. You can see this is maybe the positive. Uh, I think okay. No problem. Let's connect it. Uh, and here is the input not. Uh, where is the output? Output here. The output two here. So it will connect it through there. Okay. And uh, what pin we have missed here? Something. And there is oh yeah. There is two pin. We can see this is ground. Uh, this one is gone this is all also is gone so we have to connect it to the minus uh, here and here okay uh, oh, what are you doing here this is not all right uh, and this is the uh, vs pin this is a source uh, this will uh, this pin will connect it through this uh, regulator so this will be the out uh, uh, from the uh, detail it will uh, it will get uh, you know the voltage from the output of this regulator because it will con maintain a uh, controller motor and also this will change the directions and uh, this pin will uh, see we can see this as uh, a ground so connected with ground and this is uh, you know in so it is a voltage in so it will connect it to our positive and we have left one more thing in this IC this is called the VCC it will also connect it to positive okay uh, so we have most likely connected here let's uh, make the supply it's five volt here and ground is here okay uh, I think it's almost done let's jump through a code and make it live so at first we have to initialize our two functions that is called the setup and you know the loop function here so there we can see that I have used uh, the three pins uh, that will connect it to Arduino so I need to initialize them first so what will they are the there we can see there is a two input pin so in input one or you can say in one uh make it small 
it will be typing easy so input 2 and our another pin is what the enable pin yeah the enable pin all right and uh, let's make initialize the number so what is our input one pin is uh okay input one pin is here so it will connect it to three so it will be three the what is the input two input two maybe here output input two yeah here so it will be four and our enable pin that may first there's yes, this one the first one is enable pin and it's two all right and now let's initialize with and uh, you know these all pins will be the output so i need to initialize as output mode so pin mode uh, and initialize the pin this is for the in one and it will be the output output let's copy this thing because we need to do it once again all right so this will be the input two it will also output and or enable the an okay there's the initialization so let's start our motor first so at first we need to uh should it delay no at first we need we need to uh, at first we start our motor okay so what it is uh, we will use the digital pin here this so we just uh, uh, you know just uh, turn on the motor and change our direction so just use the digital right and digital right and what is this wheel uh, uh, yeah so this will be the main thing so it will be high I will describe you later after that first let me write the code here all right so there there yeah so uh, we have three pins input one input two and the enable okay so this will be small yeah so we need to uh you know firstly we need to turn this uh, uh like anti-clockwise okay so uh, so first one we need to um, in a, uh, our input one pin will be high so this uh, this will turn uh, this motor is uh, one direction and we will input this two will be low so um, it will be high when uh, 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 it will be high then when we want to uh, make the rotation in another direction then we need to uh, initialize it high so we need to uh, uh, initialize it high on the next uh, part of our code and this enable pins will enable our motor you know so you i think you have clear about this that so like this input one pin will be set the direction so for and this enable pin will set the power and this in a uh, input pin will set the another direction all right so at first to make this motor live then we need to delay for three seconds more likely and we need to copy this one again okay copy and paste it here just we need to set this high to low and this is low to high so then our motor will be uh, turning on the different direction okay so we need to another delay here for three seconds all right so this is more likely our code okay so uh, let me introduce uh, once again uh, at first we need to initialize the three of the pins that will we connect to the arduino you can see it here so we have just an, i'm just uh, put the number here and then we just initialize it and we need to uh, i have told you that i have uh, to uh, run this motor in of at, at first time at one direction and then second time it will be run at another direction so at first i have to uh, input uh, pin will be high and input two will be low and our enable pin will enable our motor and then we have changed the direction there so that we had input our pin low and our second input pin is high 
and then uh, you know it's all will be it's always be high because uh, we need to turn on our motor so there's more likely our code let's simulate this and see if it works run oh yeah so there is a token problem so which line uh, I need a I missed a semicolon here where let's check it again I think I have not done anything white loop should I miss something It will see the 924 digital rate. Oh, yeah, we have missed in here. Oh, my bad. Uh, let's see, let's run this, and we can see this motor is running in this direction for three seconds, and after that, it should be turned here. Okay, so you can see this the timing here, like when six, and it will be turned. Uh, on anti-clockwise and now it is clockwise okay so this will be uh, end of our little project this is our motor directions so if you uh, check this uh, you can zoom it out so make sure it is rotating or not uh, there you can see okay so it will uh, three seconds rotating at the clockwise and for the three seconds it will be run anti-clockwise okay so this is more likely our little project about this uh, DC motor. Okay. So thanks for watching. Hope I will see you on next video. Goodbye.